what's going on everybody it is dark and Eyes here back with another video on the channel today i'm going to be reviewing arrow season 7 episode 2 titled longbow hunters this episode was definitely a step down from the premiere but it was still an okay episode there were just there were a good amount of things i didn't like but there were some great moments too, so let's get into this review. Now, I'm just going to start it off. The prison scenes are great. They're intense, and I am so into them. Anytime it goes to slab side, I'm just like, ultra attention mode right now, go. Because I love the prison scenes, and I feel like they should have focused on that more in this episode. Because they're so good. And then the kind of battle in Star City is just like, eh, come on, can you, can you show us some more prison, you know? Also, I'm really liking where the flash forwards are heading. I think they're going to be very interesting this season. And Roy's going to be in, like, almost all the flash forwards, which is going to be awesome. And... I did notice how you can definitely tell something happened to Roy. Like, he's not the same person he once was. Something happened to him, and so that, he probably went to the island because of that. And he seems, he seems kind of more, like, locked up inside with his feelings and his thoughts. And it's going to be interesting to see how that will play out in the future of this season. And Felicity is so annoying in this episode. That is what brings down the score for me so much. Because this episode could have been great, but Felicity is just bad. Okay? She's ignorant. She's just... Emily Bett Richards can't do emotional acting. Like, when she's in the background and tunes in for funny quips and stuff. And, like, really, like, interesting factoids and stuff. She's fine. She's a good character, and I like her as Oliver's wife-ish, but when she has to get emotional, and when something's emotionally driving her, she's just bad, and I don't know why they're writing her this way, because literally every one of my friends, we were watching it, and all of us were just like, bro, Felicity, stop. Please, like, we could have written Felicity better, and, like, that, that is the main issue in this episode, is Felicity. Now, there are also some storylines that don't, like, quite work out, and they just seem kind of lost, but my big pluses are the prison scenes and the flash forwards. The prison scenes are still amazing in this episode, and there wasn't even as much action, but I love Oliver so much. Like, the way he took care of the guard was just pure brilliance. I was just like, Oliver, bro, you I love you. Like, that's literally me. Like, he- it was so smart, and I just loved that scene. But, like, just him and Stanley's relationship growing is really cool to see. And we got a new opening monologue in this episode, which was pretty cool. And the, I just, I love everything about Slapside Prison. Like, it just feels so right for Arrow, and they do it so well. And then you get to Felicity's story and the other story, and it's just like, okay, if, if you're gonna put so much, like, more effort into the prison like, scenes, can you either put more effort into this storyline, or just show us more Slabside Prison, because Slabside Prison carries the episode here, it legit carries it, so, the ending also bumps the score up a little, I did like the fight on the train for the most part, and we find, but at the end, Felicity actually admitted she was wrong. Okay, then then she, like, continued to be annoying after that, but she admitted she was wrong. And I was like, 
Way to go, girl. Yes, thank you. Just thank you. Just, okay, you can leave now. And of course, she's not going to, but whatever. Also, the story the flash forwards are setting up is really interesting. And, the f like, they're going back to Star City. Future Star City, guys. What is it going to be like? Like, we've already seen Star City 2046 in Legends. So, what is this going to be like? And it, the flash forwards are focused around two characters that I really like in William and Roy. So I am just so, so hyped to see how those play out. Hopefully we get a little more action in there. But even the scenes with them just talking are really, really well done. I do like Diggle in this episode. I think he's a good character. I think Black Siren's a really good character. And I'm actually on her side in this episode. Take Diaz out, okay? And I hope that Black Siren is the one to do that. It, it would just be pretty satisfying for me. And yeah, I, that is going to wrap up this review. There was a lot of stuff I did like and a lot of stuff I didn't like. So, I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. Yes, maybe that's being a little bit generous, but I, I enjoyed this episode. So, guys, that is going to do it for me. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like and leave me your thoughts on the episode down below. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.